Muse for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, Musers? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in today's quick tip, we're going to go over a really useful Chrome extension called Window Resizer. Uh, this tool can help you with working across different breakpoints and it can let, let you know the size of the browser window so you know where your website breaks and where to add breakpoints and things like that. So it's really simple to access this extension. You just go to coolx10.com slash window resizer and I'll leave a link to that in the description area below. And basically once you go to the site, you can click on try the new version two better for Chrome and then install it. It's uh, install it from the Chrome web store. And once you install it, you'll get a little icon right up here in the upper right of your Chrome web browser. So this extension is only for Google Chrome. Just wanted to mention that. Um, so here we have the window resizer. And if I click on it, we have the different widths that you can set the browser window to. So you can set it for desktop, 20, uh, yeah, 2560 by 1440. Uh, we have another desktop uh, width and height laptop, iPad, iPhone 6, and iPhone 5. These here, the iPhone 6 and the iPhone 5, uh, won't really work because I think Google only allows you to resize to 400 pixels in width. Uh, but you can play around with these values and it'll resize the window to those different values. So if I go to museforyoushop.com and I change the size, I can see how the site looks uh, when the browser is a certain width. So that's the Chrome extension, that's Window Resizer. And one function that I really like using is the tooltip. So if you click on the extension, and then we have this eye here, it's kind of an italic eye, it toggles the resize tooltip. So I'll click on that. And then right down here, if I resize the browser window, we have this uh, toggle tooltip or this Window Resizer tooltip. So here it tells us the viewport width and height and it tells us the window width and height. We notice the viewport is, the height is less than the window height, and that's because the window height has this extra, you know, bookmarks, the URL, the tabs, and things like that. The viewport is just the area where the website is contained. Um, so you can think of viewport in that sense. It doesn't have, you know, it's not the entire size of the window, uh, but where the website is contained. The window size is everything. It's the entire window size, which includes you know, the bookmarks, URL, and the tabs. So it's the entire window. Viewport is just where the website is contained. All right, so that is Window Resizer. I'll leave a link to it in the description area below. Um, it's a really great tool. I really like the tooltip because you can take a look and when the website breaks, um, you, you'll know at what breakpoint or what width the, the website breaks and you can add a breakpoint accordingly in Adobe Muse. So hopefully this is helpful uh, when you're working with breakpoints in Adobe Muse. Um, that is quick tip number 22. Uh, if you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. And I'll leave a link to the Chrome extension, the window resizer Chrome extension in the description area below. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. Muse for you, awesome websites without code.